But what if she's the one, Jules? Maybe this is fate, Kate continued. I could pass our little note with your number. Or you could go to the bathroom, and then when you're coming back, I'll get up to get something from the overhead, and you'll have to stop and chat. Great. The straight girl's giving me tips for picking up women. You're right. I trust the straight girl's advice. You should listen to me instead. Mo chuckled at Kate's glare. First step, hand her your number yourself. You don't need a friend to do that. Second step, bend down and take off her socks. I'm not that straight, Kate argued. You're engaged to a six-foot-two engineer who watches ESPN all day, and you've never dated a woman, Mo said. The fact that you're not that straight isn't going to help our case here. All I'm saying is that it's been a long time since she's been on a date. Just because I'm marrying Ethan doesn't mean I can't help her get a date. And all I'm saying is that she should listen to someone who actually dates women. Enough, you two. Julia held up her hand. I'm on vacation. I don't want to think about dating. Why not? Kate and Mo asked simultaneously. You needed some time after Cheryl, but it's been what, six months? Mo glanced at Kate for confirmation. Over a year. They broke up last January, Kate said. Unless there's someone we don't know about. You know I'd tell you, Julia sighed. Since her ex had dumped her, she hadn't wanted to think about dating anyone again. But it wasn't because of a broken heart. I suck at dating. Practice makes perfect, Mo said. Julia nearly argued that she needed more than practice. She needed a whole semester of classes. But then she'd have to admit to her friends that she was terrible in bed. That was the other reason she'd started seeing the shrink. Mo continued, I think you'd be happier if you started looking around a little. That's all. Can we go back to thinking about palm trees and sunny beaches? She sucked on the candy cane, avoiding Kate's and Mo's gazes. Kate sighed and closed her magazine. Sounds good to me. She pulled a black silk eye mask on, adjusted her neck pillow, and then settled back in her seat. Wake me when we're in Hawaii. Julia avoided looking over at Mo, certain that she still wanted to talk, and instead stared out the window. Streaks of white passed below the wings, and the distant blue ocean seemed cold and lonely. Maybe her friends were right. She could try dating again. Her chair bumped forward, and she overheard the whispered scold that followed. It took all her restraint to not peek between the seats. Another look at that butch mom was not what she needed. Finally, she popped in her earbuds, picked out her favorite pink song, and turned up the volume. <laughs>